Hello and welcome back. My name is Mallory Erickson. I am an executive coach and fundraising consultant and the creator of the Power Partners formula. I'm going to talk to you today about the best morning ritual for fundraisers, for nonprofit leaders. But first, I want to tell you really quickly about how I discovered it. So something I see with myself all the time or saw with myself all the time and saw with a lot of my clients was that they had strong motivation when I'd be talking to them on the phone or when I'd be writing my to-do list to do certain type of actions, to take certain types of actions. And then we'd come to the next session and they would never have done that. And so I started to track this. I started to track some of the behaviors in my clients, what types of actions were falling through the cracks, right? And I was hearing all the typical stuff. I don't, I didn't have enough time. This came up, da, 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 right? It usually came back to time, but the types of activities were so similar. And there were plenty of other things that took plenty of other time that were getting done. So I started to look really deeply and ask questions through my executive coaching around what was happening in these moments, right? What was happening in these moments where clients and myself weren't taking action that we said we were gonna take. And it all really came down to fear, right? There was something in that action that created fear or anxiety or stress in our system and it caused us to switch, to switch out of it, right? To avoid it, to do something else. And it's easy for busy leaders in particular to find a million reasons why they don't do certain actions, right? And we can say to a blue in the face that it has to do with time. But the reality is what I've discovered over many, many years of doing this is that a lot of it comes back to fear. So I created this morning ritual as one of the ways to overcome this. So our motivation is the highest first thing in the morning, right? And we have the least amount of time to sort of second guess ourselves or let that gremlin sneak in. And so I call it the fearless 45. Although recently I had someone tell me 45 minutes is too much Mallory. And I was like, great, do the fearless 15. So I wanna invite you to do either but here's what I want you to do I want you to block that time off on your calendar 45 minutes 15 minutes and I want you to identify one to five tasks depending on how much time you're giving yourself that take five to 15 minutes but are really scary right because a lot of times the action that my clients weren't taking was like sending an email and I was like that is a 30 second task actually we wrote it together last week so there is no way that you didn't have time to press send on that email. So we started this ritual with them where every morning they'd sit down at their computer. They wouldn't let meetings start during this time. Anyone can find 15 minutes in the morning before you're overtaken by your meetings to sit down and do one to three to five really scary short tasks. Press send on those emails, outreach to that new corporate partner, set up a new meeting with a potential funder, right? Go back and ask that donor to make that donation again this year. The things that bring up all of that discomfort that we can come up with a million excuses for why they won't work. That's what I want you to do first thing in the morning. So fearless 45, fearless 15, whatever you call it. So much of our discomfort as fundraisers comes from what we believe, the beliefs and the thoughts that we are holding. And when we let that spiral through our head all day, not only do we end up avoiding the task that's actually gonna lead to the revenue coming in, but we spend the whole day in kind of like a weird energetic state because we're afraid of it, right? It's just like with a funder meeting. One of my mentors always said, make the ask over soup. You want to make sure that you're bringing your best energy to your day. And one of the primary ways to do that is to remove the scariest thing from that list and do it first thing in the morning. Okay. So I really hope that you will share with me if you implement this, because it is so powerful. And when I've spoken about it before, I've had people say, oh my gosh, I did that this week. And it was amazing. It made such a difference in X, Y, and Z. So you're going to see results from this right away. I also want to let you know, if you want more tips and tricks and hacks like this, you should go to my website, malloryerickson.com backslash resources. And you should download one of those free resources in each one. I really go through different types of behavior change, habit tricks. So go check that out. Let me know what you apply and how it goes. And I hope to see you here again soon. Have a great day.